Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to tell you 10 features that you probably didn't know about the Porsche 911. Stay tuned. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on. And if you do like this video, then give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram on fun 2 drive cars I'll put the link down there where you get sneak peek of upcoming videos on the channel. Let's go. while driving the car normally you find that your brakes fail you can actually press and hold the emergency parking brake and that will apply the parking brake to help you slow down but be aware this is very very savage it will just lock up the back wheels but that will bring you to a stop you may want what this button is for this button can be anything you really want it to be using an option from the menus to program this button do the following Go into the menu system, select settings, scroll down to steering wheel up and then the key and then you can choose from a cluster function or a PCM function. Then you've got a set of functions you can choose from for either PCM functions or cluster functions here. So the special feature with the locking, if you just lock the doors normally as you would when you've got the vehicle then that turns on the interior sensor and it also makes it so you cannot open these doors so anybody sat in your car at that time would not be able to get out in an emergency. To overcome this all you need to is press the lock button twice on your key fob. What this then does is put it into a soft lock mode which turns off the interior motion sensor and allows a passenger to op open the door. But be aware the alarm will be sounded when they do open the door, but in an emergency, at least they can get out the car. So if you find that your remote control will not unlock the door, then there is a keyhole where you can actually use the key in the fob. So if you take your fob and turn it over, there's a little switch on there, push that, and that will release the actual key. The key then fits in to the lock underneath here, like so and you can then lock and unlock the driver's door. So now you've used the key to unlock the door, you've obviously got a flat battery, so you can't open the front trunk to get to the battery to charge it. Porsche have thought of that as well. If you go inside this fuse box here, which is just in the driver's, on a UK car in the driver's footwell, open it up, and what you'll find is this big red what looks a bit like a fuse, but it's not. So take the fuse extractor, grab hold of that red thing, pull it out like so. And what you find is it's got a metal contact on the side of it, and you can put a battery jump pack. So you can clip the positive side of a battery jump pack onto there, and the negative side onto somewhere like the door hinge, and you will then have enough power to release the front trunk which will then enable you to get to the battery and recharge the battery or replace the battery. You're probably fully aware that your car has cup holders hidden behind this flap, but here's a couple of tips when using the cup holders. So open and release the cup holder as normal, but then when you are using it, place the flap back into position and that stops the cup holder from swinging left to right when you go around the corner. Also, if you want to put big cups in the cup holder, then you can pull it out and it takes a lot bigger cup in there now and then you can click that to hold on to your size of cup. So if you jump out your car and realise that you've left the windows open, these can actually be closed remotely by using the remote control. So when you lock the doors, just press and hold the lock button and you'll find that the windows will close. Conversely, when you walk up to the car, if it's a really hot day and you want a bit of air in the car before you get to it, you can press and hold the unlock button, which will unlock the car and also open all of the windows. As 
because the wipers in this car have a very low home position when not in use if you come to change the wiper blades it makes it a little bit hard to get to the actual wipers themselves but an easy way to do this is you turn off the ignition and then hold down the wiper stoke and the wipers will lift up to about 45 degrees to enable you to do maintenance on the actual wipers themselves to put them back to normal position just press and hold the stoke again with the ignition turned on they'll do one wipe and they'll just fall back down. So when you come up to fill a car with fuel, a lot of people are saying just leave that dangling and rubbing against your bodywork. Don't do that. The older 997s used to have a little hook for the cable to go in there. The new models now have this pin shape on the end of the actual cap and there's a hole there in the hinge where you just place the filler cap like so whilst filling. So if you find that you cannot open the fuel flap because it's jammed, then what you will find is just underneath this part of the wing here, there is a little toggle which you can get your fingers on and pull out and pull it and that will release the fuel flap for you. As you're probably aware, the car has the one touch open and one touch close windows. But sometimes when you've had the batteries connected for a while or you've lost power, then what you can find is that the one touch has stopped working. So to relearn the one touch window open and close, what you need to do is press and hold the button to open the window. Once fully open, then pull the button upwards to close the window all the way to the top. When it gets to the top, let go and pull the rocker three times. Once that's done, press and hold the rocker in the down position again and when that is done, you should now have one touch operation back. You'll probably need to do this for both the windows. So when engaging reverse gear, you will then kick in the park assist mode. Now in this case, I've got something sat in front of the car, which I know it's there, so I'm not too bothered about. But what you can do if that is getting on your nerves, then you can disable the park assist by looking at the roof buttons up here and you'll find you've got this button here. If you press that, that will cancel the park assist mode. Obviously press it again, park assist mode returns and the car is checking. So there we have it. I hope I showed you at least one thing you didn't know about the Porsche 911. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. And if you did like this video, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is down here. So you'll get sneak peeks of upcoming videos. Till the next time, stay safe. <laughs>